friends it's been a long time since i met you and also i've been reading a lot of books and making origami uh, and i really like making origami and i can also show you how to make those things what i made i made a lot of things usually i've been reading this book the good dinosaur so this book was given to me by my sister viti didi so i really like this book and th- so i'm going to tell you how, what is in this book by reading the part here arlo the little dinosaur is afraid of everything when he gets lost in the wilderness he must learn to face his fears in order to find his way back home Will an unlikely friendship with a little human boy be the help that Arlo needs? So actually what happened in this story is that uh, there were two dinosaurs. Two dinosaurs that had survived. There was a family of dinosaurs and there were there was a father and mother. Well, they were not father and mothers, but the mother was about to become a mother. because he, she had laid all three eggs so two were small and one was the biggest the two ones the two which were small had two big and brave dinosaurs but the one that was the longest and biggest well when it has it turned out to be a tiny one a tiny little dinosaur so But then when he grew up he was pretty not too much of brave like his other brothers he got scared of his own brother and he went ch- when a chicken from behind him said squawk then he just ah! and that's so like he's not a really one bit brave and so that's that's when his father took him somewhere out to find a critter a critter uh, i don't know a human boy he was i don't know why but he was trying taking all the corn they were saving for the winters well so the father well they they called him a very funny name popa <laughs> and so that's really funny and their mom moma oh my gosh so this is also available in disney hotstar this story is also well animated in disney hotstar and it's pretty nicely animated and inside are really 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 great figures when arlo goes with his father out to find that critter well then there's a great tsunami and his father just you know goes out of the sea and i don't know where he go and because where did he go so well because the family had to work even more hard so one day he saw his mother going really slowly because too much heavier on her back too much heavy because it had been doubled because popa had gone so then warlo was loading all the corn into the you know silo silo uh, this is one i don't know what thing they call silo but the silo was a uh, one where they would put a mark that they are now brave everyone made a mark except for arlo then after that when arlo was loading that all the corn into that silo it turned out that the critter was back he got really angry and and wanted to finish the mission his father had given him and then he tried to catch the boy but the boy ran away and because of and in chasing him he accidentally fell into the river and because of the high current he also blew away but he managed to survive and there 
he was pretty hungry so he find a bit of berries and rest all the time he faced many problems like with raptors a lot of raptors he found new t-rex friends and the critter well he saved him from a dinosaur snake the boy just saved him from the snake because he just turned him like like a cloth when we drag a cloth like this and whoa and he just threw him out in the forest well you know what happened then after this all the snake you know they went somewhere to rest and when they both looked up at the moon they they remembered their parents and got pretty sad and then arlo started howling i don't know why but he followed the little kid because the little kid started to howl so arlo again start started to howl again with him with sadness so the after the next day they they knew that they were lost in the jungle what should they do they they saw some dinosaurs raptors so they were they wanted to eat the little boy so you know to avoid it arlo and the little boy went away went somewhere and then found t-rexes the t-rexes that they found were big bigger than arlo really big so those t-rexes were really angry and two of the t-rexes jumped and arlo said oh but the t-rexes don't worry kid we're not going to harm you so he they, so arlo said phew what a relief then they were going back to home but again they faced those raptors they were pretty nasty really nasty so then arlo tried to save him a lot but he fell from the cliff he still survived and got really angry at those raptors charged and threw all of them away like yay oh <laughs> this, they all flew out of there there was a log where arlo i mean spot the human boy he was stuck inside a you know tree and that tree was broke out it got unrooted and fell inside though the boy was on the you know the bank and he was floating but arlo was really he remembered that his father he was also washed away from the river current so he remembered that and didn't want to lose another one and he quickly jumped into that place and then pick up, picked up spot but then he realized that he couldn't jump all the way back and in front there was a waterfall they kept on coming when the waterfall came nearer and nearer after they fell arlo just turned into a round ball and started spinning right like a circle wheel and finally fell in the water swam and took out went out of the water and saved spot so that time he realized that he wasn't really unbrave he was great he was very brave so then spot after that they slept all night and when they woke up then they saw four humans coming that way so only four and they so spot spot the human boy he was go- also going with him but he didn't they didn't want to he didn't want to go with them but arlo understood that as he needs a family the little boy also needs one so he sent him to that family and but arlo i i mean spot really he didn't want to go to them so he wanted to stay with arlo so arlo used his head and drew a circle arlo so drew a circle of one 
But then Spot understood what he was trying to say and he didn't really like it. The Spot Spot understood that it meant that the circle meant that don't come to me stay with the human family it belongs to you so he hugged his arlo's leg and went away really tears you know running through his eyes and finally arlo went back home and he finally fi- found his mother and he shouted mama and ran towards her, his mother and finally he had proved that he was brave he put his mark on the silo and thought that his father must have been proud so it was a really nice story and i hope you like it so i hope you enjoy it thank you bye bye